G'day guys, Sean Savage here from Streak and Marine. Got ourselves another 7,000 Southern ready for its on water commissioning. We're going to have a bit of a walk through and uh, see what this particular boat's got. It's on the yellow fin, I beam, aluminium trailer, stress free anchor winch. This one is a solid white. So if you ask for everything white, this is what you get. The windscreen frame around that area is always black, but the, the roof's white uh, on the top, the cabin's white, inside the boat's white, and the side sheets. We're gonna go to the back, have a look at what we got here. The first thing we'll see is the new F225, which is the XCB, the new generation Yamaha four stroke. Um, they are absolutely beautiful, but very, very hard to get at the moment. Um, zip weight trim tabs are standard in these boats. We're gonna go through the zip weights in a moment. They're fantastic. This is a big Airmar 275LHW, so it's the high chirp and the low chirp. Um, one single drain plug that goes in the middle there, which is your uh, only access to the bilge. And then the one with the filter on it just here is your live bait tank. And the one on the other side is your outlet. Transom door, dive ladder. We're gonna put her into the water and get her in. So when we're putting these into the water, what I like to look for is just the back corner of the boat. So when I'm reversing the car in, I like to watch the back of the boat right in that corner there. And when that's touching the water, that's the right depth for me for launching. So as she comes back, and she keeps going right there. That's a beautiful depth. You're pretty much guaranteed at that depth that you're gonna have sufficient depth under the water um, and the boat's still gonna have contact with the trailer. So when you reverse the boat into the water or drive the boat back up onto the trailer, the boat is actually still in a, uh, a depth where it'll have contact. So when we get to this depth here, um, that does two things for launching and retrieving. It gives us enough depth to drive the boat on and off quite comfortably, but also gives us the accurate depth that we're still shallow enough to have contact with the trailer. So the boat's still gripped to the trailer and it'll um, keep the boat in the right position. You can see just above the, the yellow in the yellow fin logo, there's a little outlet there. That's gonna be a hand wash, um, which is pretty cool. It's an option we don't do that often, but I think it's a real cracker. Up on the roof, twin VHF and AM FM radios, external antenna. We've got those swingers outriggers for the outrigger poles, they're unreal. So this boat has uh, outriggers. You can use these as a rod rigger as well. So you just pull them out, turn them, and you can use them as a rod rigger. But when they're out of the way, they're just super flush. They look sick. They're a really, really good unit. So um, if you're looking for outriggers, we do recommend those. We find those very, very effective. Um, one thing you do see on these yellow fins is handrails everywhere. So when you walk around the side decks on these things, there's heaps of width. So you can comfortably walk around the side here if you need to get to the front. But as you're doing that, you're doing that safely because you've got super thick, easy to grab handrails pretty much everywhere you'd expect to see them. This here keeps the passengers dry. So this is a diversion to so any water that's on top of the hard top. We'll hit this uh, wall here as such and then filter down this channeling system and that'll keep the occupiers that are standing up at the back of the boat dry. Um, something we're well known for these days is the reverse checker plate sea deck flooring. So we've got that nailed now. Looks fantastic. There's so many colours to choose from. It typically goes above the seat, box, seat boxes as well and it also goes above the cabin uh, on the dash there. This one's got the, the Simrad Evo 316 the Simran Autopilot, the Yamaha touchscreen gauge. Okay, so another thing this boat's got, which is certainly worth talking about, is he hasn't gone for the, uh, the roller locker door. He's gone for the open cabin. So the open cabin gives us heaps more room and width to get into our cabin. And you can still run a privacy door like we have on this one here, but this gives us so much more room to get through. So if you are in and out of the cabin all the time um, and you're not sleeping in it, or maybe you're not running a toilet like this one has, you don't need the privacy, um, the, the, the open cabin's actually a really good option. It's not something we see a lot of. So keep that in mind with your purchase. And then as we turn around, you can see the bait station, heaps of room at the back of the boat, heaps of width, 
and super wide side decks. So you can comfortably sit on these side decks when you're out fishing or using the boat and you've got somewhere to safely comfortably sit. And the thing that they got really right is the depth inside the boat is so right. So when you're sitting on top of these side decks, you're really in a comfortable position. Um, you can sit here all day and be comfortable and safe. So we'll get her in the water, we'll give her a run, get it all set up for the customer and see what other information we can give you. Okay, so we're out, water's pretty good. Um, we're gonna do a performance test. We're gonna, we're gonna go through some rev ranges and some fuel economy and uh, see what kind of performance we get out of it. The other thing we're gonna look into as a bit of fun is we're going to run our TM275, our big girl transducer, and we're going to see what kind of speed that'll hold bottom at as well while we're at all this. So the first thing we're gonna do is this creeper up on the throttle around that 3000 RPM mark. So that's 26, a bit more, 3000. Economy, 1.6. Fuel flow, so litres per hour, 24 litres an hour. Bottom, no dramas. So, coming home, bit snotty, and you're just chugging along, 3,000 3, RPM, you're gonna get home safely, comfortably, and you're just gonna just chug along. Next one, we'll go three and a half. 1.5 kilometers per liter still, 31 liters an hour, 44 kilometers an hour. Starting to get some lines through the bottom. It is a little bit rougher than I thought, um, but we still got pretty bloody good bottom. And look, the bottom's a bit irrelevant at this speed. We're not looking for fish. We really just want to make sure we still got a uh, depth sort of reading, ideally. 4,000, a little bit of trim. 55 kilometers an hour, 1.2 kilometers per liter, 44 liters an hour. Bottom really hasn't changed much, still sitting pretty good. 45, 62 kilometers an hour, 1.2 still right on 50 litres an hour. Still got bottom. Fuel beauty, 5,000. Bit of trim. Forty five, forty six hundred 4,600 RPM. 65 kilometres an hour. 1.2 kilometers per liter, 57 and a half liters per hour. Starting to lose it, but we still have a solid depth reading on the side there. 5,000. 53, I've actually gone to. 77 kilometers an hour, 0.9 per liter per kilometer, 85 liters an hour. Still holding depth. Maximum RPM, bit of trim. 55, 56, 80 kilometers an hour. 0.9 of a litre per kilometer. 85 litres an hour. Just lost bottom right there. But we are singing nicely. As we bring her back, holding bottom, 3,000 RPM, 1.7 kilometers per liter, easy as that.